Well, I'm about to go out and test my uh, Nope, I can't get him out. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. My DIY turbo fan. Uh, I bought these two uh, kayaks about a week ago. Well, Saturday. So it hasn't been a whole week yet. All right, here we are at Woodland Lake. I got an audience. Getting ready to test out my my DIY turbo fins to see how it works out. All right, I've already tried them, but I had to use them to get away from the dock. But here are my DIY turbo fins. Make sure they locked in. Here they go. All right, here we go. They're working, but just for safety, I went ahead and brought my my other turbo fins. But they're a little close. Oh yeah, that's perfect right there. I'm getting some movement out of these. So, now that I know my fins work, I am going to try and make me a, a better set, a cleaner set, prettier set, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me see what kind of a turn I can get out of this. This, uh, this Hobie Outback does have the, uh, the sail fin. Look at, look at this turn. It doesn't turn as well as the uh, catch, but yeah, that's about a 10, 15 foot circle right there. So I think I've got my, uh, the cables on here, I think are maybe a little too tight. Yeah, these, this, the pedal drive is a little hard to pedal. So, I'm not sure what's... Because my knees right now are tingling a little bit. Just a little bit. There's a lighthouse. So, let's do a donut around the, the lighthouse. Ready? Man, so you want to see how tight of a circle these uh, sail fin, the sail rudder works. That's how tight of a circle it made around the high, the, the lighthouse. Okay, okay. I just walked out to my actual turbo fins. And, oh, these are a lot easier to pedal. Hey, where the hell am I? Oh, I'm pointing towards the dam. No, I'm pointing where I thought I was. Yeah, the, uh... These are my actual turbo fins they move a lot easier than the uh, or smoother I think my DIY fins are gonna work out now this thing turns quick let's see here do another donut with the I mean I don't know what it's gonna make a difference because it's the rudder that does the the work 
here we go. Let's see here. Oh yeah. I don't like that water down there, but from what I've seen from everyone's videos is uh, there's always water on the, uh, the the gears of the fan. What's up, ducks? Well, I think that's enough of a lake test. Uh, in a pinch, if you don't have any uh, fins and you've got most of your actual fins as a backup, trace it out on a flat piece of thin plastic. I've got a couple of other ideas that I'm going to come up with for... Uh, making fins and uh, <clears throat> let's see how that works out another idea I had was uh, to create a sleeve that goes over the mast and basically just holds it like this and then uh, whatever I'm going to use as my fin will on the part that, that goes like this uh, I'll attach it with uh, pop rivets or something so that the part that does the fin work is a little more flexible these I have here they're they're kind of stiff but yeah those fins worked out pretty good well it looks like my my fins are a success I mean the fin, uh, the plastic isn't actually see but this is hard plastic so it's not going to come out anyway that one actually held up a little better than this one did but DIY turbo fin saved myself a little over 100 bucks I guess there we go hey thanks for watching like subscribe and send me a dollar I'm going to have to do some more real world tests on these. I think the reason that one was harder to paddle was because of the rigidity of the fins. Because these fins do flex a lot more. So I'm thinking that's why this one smooth goes to the water a little smoother. This one was actually, I think, moving more water. I felt like I was going a little faster with that one than I was with these. Because when I picked them up and I use them out here, they have about the same resistance. So I'm thinking the rigidity of the blades was making these push more water, which tired me out a little more. But I don't know. Either that or maybe come up with something to where this part comes down here a little ways and... Uh, Instead of having this rigid bar on this little rigid rod here, have like a little piece of cable so it has a little more flex. I don't know, but they worked, they worked, they didn't fall apart. So, this is a uh, prototype number one. This is my pattern right here. If you look at the, the shape of it, I added a little extra plastic on the top just to thicken up the top part. And then this part here, you actually fold it along the inside of this line to make it the same size as these. Because I noticed that this one, I folded it, I think I folded it behind the line or something. So it's actually a little thicker or a little wider than the actual fin. But there you go. DIY plastic turbo fins. And they're made out of just what most things are made out of, plastic bins or whatever, you know. But I was thinking I'm going to come up with another design where it just goes around here. And then I can use whatever material I want. I was thinking maybe like uh, rubber floor mats or maybe something like this. I've got this rubber uh, stuff here. 
it's fine. It's a uh, vinyl. It's rubber on one side and then material on the other side. But I'm talking about just like a rubber, regular rubber floor mat as the actual fin part. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I think I'm gonna make a couple more of these. Maybe work on the design a little bit. But. It was a success. It really moved my Hobie Outback. I've got a couple questions about the difference between a Hobie Outback and a different, uh, like maybe a, a Revolution. If anybody's had experience with both like I have. And I'm just thinking because this is such a big kayak, that's why it was a little harder to uh, pedal it. Because my little Catch 110, that thing doesn't weigh nothing. And it uses... Uh, pedal drive and I pedaled around on that th thing for three hours and I think I feel a little tired right now a little more tired right now for from a 30 45 minute ride than I did from that one but that's a whole different discussion hey thanks for watching more to come all right here's a sneak peek at my version 2.0 homemade uh, turbo fin this is some thick uh, rubber where I work we make these little splash guards and we always have little leftover strips that get thrown away and I only need to strip about that wide to fit in here this is just some uh, any type of plastic I made it to where it folds over I'm going to put pop rivets in here and then over here there's just a slit in the in the rubber and a hole that size so that i can adjust this in and out and it's got plenty of play so it's gonna it's gonna work i know it's gonna work but this is just a sneak peek of my version 2.0 diy homemade turbo fins